This is going to be a little bit more of a chord-focused class. Uh, we'll be using one block each, and if you have one at home, great. If you don't have one, uh, you can substitute a small pillow, or you don't even have to use a block. Um, just think about squeezing your legs together when we're holding the block between our knees. And we'll start standing, warming up, and then get on the floor and flow, and the whole thing will have a little bit more of a core focus. So let's start in standing with your feet directly under your hips. Close your eyes for a moment. Without fixing or changing anything, just take a moment to notice your breath. Let your belly expand on your inhales, kind of relax into the bottom of your lungs. And on your exhales, feel your belly tighten, feel the ribs pull in. Inhale, belly fills all the way up. Exhale, belly pulls in. You can keep the breath moving like that as you open your eyes. Inhale, the arms all the way up. As you exhale, press the palms down the front of your body. Inhale, expand even into the sides of your ribs. Exhale, squeeze your lower belly in. Two more like that. Move at your own pace. Last one. And then when your arms come all the way down to your sides, just let them relax. Take some easy neck circles. Just kind of feel through the edges of your range of motion. See what's available to you right now. And as it gets a little more comfortable, you might make the movement a little bit bigger. You might start to let your shoulders move with your head, upper back and chest. And then come back to the center. Start circling the other way, just from the neck to start. Try to avoid any pain or excessive tension. As it starts to feel available, you can add a little bit more from your shoulders, upper back, maybe ribs. And then bring it to the center. On your inhale, open up your arms like a cactus, maybe a little back bend here. And as you exhale around your back, bring the backs of your hands together. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, big. Stretch the chest open. And exhale to round. And let the arms come to the sides. We'll take a few side bends. Slide one hand down and the other arm up. And switch. Try to feel the ribs lifting away from your waist. If you like to add the arm over your head, you can. Think of lifting tall in the center before you side bend. And bring it back to center. From standing, start to hinge at your hips. So you're going to fold forward, arch your back. At the bottom, relax your tailbone, relax your knees, roll up to stand. Arch at the top, stick out your butt, fold. And then roll it up. Your knees can stay relaxed the whole time. If you want a little bit more, you can keep the legs straight as you hinge. A little more in the hamstrings. And then roll up to the top. At the top, we're going to reverse direction. So drop your chin to your chest and roll down. Relax the knees. At the bottom, look forward. Bend your knees like a half lift to arch up. Some people like to add arms here. You can dive forward and down. Look forward, bend the knees, and reach out and up. One more. Look forward, reach forward, up. At the top, press your hands together, turn the toes slightly out, and just take a couple of bends low into the squat. Up and down. Ease your way into your knees and hips a few times. And then you might stay at the bottom of your next squat. Weight shift a little side to side. If you like to press your elbows into your knees a little bit or take a couple of turns. 
Eventually, we'll find our way all the way down to seated. Just windshield wipe your knees a little side to side, shake it out. And then we'll pause with the feet in the center. I'll turn so that you can see. Bring your hands behind you with the fingers facing out. Lift your hips up into a reverse tabletop. If your neck feels okay, the head can drop back. Press your hips high, big wide collarbones. And then slowly lower to your sit bones, balance in a boat pose. Squeeze your knees and ankles together. Bring your knees towards your chest. From here, maybe raise your right arm by your ear. Release to center. Raise your left arm by your ear. And then release to center. Reach both arms up. Keep breathing. Easy exhales through the nose. And release, hands behind, windshield wiper the legs side to side. And then next time both knees fall over to the left, we'll leave them there and bring the top of the right foot into the mat. Take a twist. Left hand behind, right hand pulls you a little bit deeper into the twist. And we'll keep the left leg folded in. Send the right leg out, turning to face the front. We're gonna frame the right leg with the hands. Squeeze that leg straight and lift it up off the mat. Squeeze and lift. If it's hard to have your hands forward, you can always have them back behind you, but think of chest and thigh getting close to each other the whole time. Hold and lift one more time. And then release the leg, bring the left hand behind you, bridge the hips up, lengthen out that hip flexor. And then lower to seated, find a little side bend stretch here. Take a moment. If you'd like, you can turn to face the leg. And then roll up to seated, fold the leg in. And again, feet in front of you, hands behind, take a reverse tabletop. If you feel ready at this point, you can have your fingers facing your hips. Maybe rock a little bit front to back. A little bit more for the wrists and forearms. Keep pressing your hips high. Press your collarbones wide. And then again, slowly lower to the sit bones, find a boat pose. Hug everything into the center line. This time we'll extend right leg. Back to center, extend left leg, back to center, maybe reach both legs up, stay, keep the breath moving for three, two, one, and release. Last time, windshield wiper the knees, and then this time both knees fall over to the right side, top of the left foot into the mat, find your twist. Use the right hand behind you to create a little bit of length. Left hand to pull you a little bit deeper. And keep the right leg folded in. Extend the left leg out. Two hands frame the leg or hands behind. Squeeze and lift off the mat. Try to straighten the knee as you lift. If it's too easy, walk the hands a little bit farther towards your foot. And then squeeze, lift, and hold for three, two, one. Release, right hand behind, press the hips up. Lower to seated, lift up and over into your side bend. Again, option to turn towards the leg. If you want a little bit more lower back stretch. Last time, bringing the legs into the center. You can go back to the reverse tabletop, or this time if you like, you can walk the feet a little bit more out in front of you and find a reverse plank. Try to press the hips really high. Try to get your big toes to touch the floor by lifting your hips a little bit higher for three, two, and then try to slide your hips back between your hands. Pull your hips way, 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 way back, and release to seated. Good. Cross up the ankles, come through into a tabletop. 
Take a moment here just to pedal your hands a few times side to side. Turn your fingers in every direction. Get the wrists a little bit more ready. And then we'll meet up with the index fingers facing forward. And then take a moment to uh, let your chest drop down in between your shoulders. And then push your chest far away from the mat. Chest drops down and push your chest away from the mat. One or two more of those. And then find that pushed position. Stay there. So really strong through the shoulders. And then knees come a little closer together. Send the right leg straight back. Try to keep that strong push through the shoulders. Keep your belly button pulling up. If you can, add the left arm reaching straight forward. Take a breath. And release to center. Reestablish that push through the shoulders. And then the left leg goes back. Pull the belly button up as the leg extends. And right arm forward. And release to center. We're going to alternate sides like that. Right leg, left arm reaching, pull the belly up, and release. Left leg, right arm reach, and release. So we're gonna layer on top of that. Right leg, left arm reaching. Try to keep your back flat here as you bring your elbow to your knee underneath. So no rounding. Good, lengthen and reach, and then release to tabletop. Same thing, other side. Left leg, right arm, Keep the back flat, squeeze elbow to knee, reach out, and release. One more like that on each side. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, squeeze in, inhale, and tabletop. Inhale, reach, exhale, squeeze, inhale, and release. Re-establish that neutral spine. Push your chest away from the mat, strong shoulders. From here, tuck the toes under and cover the knees, just half an inch off the mat. Try to keep a little bit of belly button pulling up and in. And if you notice that your knees are floating high, try to get them really low to the mat. Stay for one more breath. Good, release the knees. Inhale, arch your back, look up. And exhale, round. Inhale for cow. And cat, round your spine. You can move back and forth a few more times. If there's a hip circle or a side bend, that would feel really good here. Take a few breaths to move through it. And then one more time, find your neutral spine. This time, see if you can round your back like a cat. Tuck the tailbone, and then same thing, tuck your toes under and hover your knees just off the mat. Keep the belly pulling up, keep pushing into the mat, keep breathing. And then release the knees, settle back to your child's pose. Take a breath. Great. So from here, in your child's pose, we're going to take the gaze forward. Keep your chest low to the mat as the elbows go wide. We'll snake forward into a cobra. So use the strength of your back to lift first. And then maybe connect the hands to lift a little bit higher. And then roll back to your child's pose. We'll do that several times. Elbows go wide, chest goes low. Press your feet down, squeeze your elbows back to lift your chest. Connect the hands, maybe lift a little higher, and then roll back. As it starts to become more comfortable, when you come through and connect the hands, you might press your chest a little bit higher just to find a little bit more range in your cobra. Take your time. We'll come through at least one more time. And then the next time we come forward, we'll stay forward in your cobra. So find the strength of your back and hamstrings, hip extensors, press the hands down, lift up through the chest, 
Find the sensation of dragging the hands back towards the hips to lift a little higher. And then relax all the way down on your belly. Bring the hands back by the hips, palms facing up. Start with your feet connecting down into the mat, and on your inhale, lift everything up and spin the hands out with the thumbs up. External rotation in the shoulders, and release. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. One more time. Inhale to lift and stay. Keep breathing. Try to lift your chest a little higher. And maybe circle the arms forward. Fingertips to the mat. You can use a little pull here to bring your chest up higher. Try to keep the legs all the way straight as you reach the toes back to lift and lower. Squeeze and lift and lower. Make your knees even more straight. Lift and hold at the top. Maybe get lighter in your fingertips. Maybe reach them back. And release all the way down. Bring the hands out wide. So bring your hands a little bit more forward rather than close to your feet. And from here, bend the right knee. Send the right foot towards the left hand. And then just easy roll back to center. We'll take it side to side. So you want to think about pressing the shoulder and chest down towards the mat so you get a little stretch across your chest. And then reach the legs so you get an opening across the front of your hip. When you've done an even amount, we'll meet back in center in a sphinx pose with your elbows under your shoulders. So in space, try to imagine that spot right between your shoulder blades and try to bend there. Try to relax your belly, relax your legs. Even think of sending your tailbone long towards your heels. And then we're going to reverse this shape by tucking the tailbone, peel your belly up, round your back. You can stay in this pseudo plank with the knees down or you power up the legs and squeeze the legs straight, tops of the feet press into the mat. And then slowly lower legs, hips, belly, lift the chest. And reverse, tailbone tucks, belly pulls up in. Again, lower the hips, lift the gaze. One more time, press into your plank. Try to find that same push through the shoulders. Get your chest far away from the mat. Tailbone tucks and the hips press low for three, two, one. Release all the way down to the belly. Press yourself back to a child's pose. Big inhale and let it go. Come on up to seated. Go ahead and send the legs out in front of you. You can probably face each other. So, legs out in front. Uh, knees bent and close is going to be a little harder. This is about medium hard. Legs out long is a little bit easier. So, you can kind of pick your distance. Sit up tall with your arms out in front to start. For now, try to keep your back really straight. And we're just going to lean back from the hips. And then sit right back up. Good. I like inhaling on the way back, nice and flat. Exhale on the way up. And we're going to keep going. Try not to go to the point where your feet fly up off the mat. Stay in control. Two more. Last one. Hold here, see if you can hug everything into the center line, keep breathing, and sit all the way up. Good, legs up long. Start to curl back, tailbone under, one vertebra at a time touches down into the mat. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. On your exhale, curl, chin to chest, roll all the way up. If you'd like, you can fold over your legs for a moment, and sit up tall. And roll. Really curl like one vertebra at a time could touch down. 
and exhale up. We have two more. A little bit harder would be arms by the ears the whole time. You're welcome to try. Even as you roll up, try to keep the arms by the ears. Hold over. Last one. This time we'll roll back and pause with the tips of the shoulder blades on the mat. Press the heels down, tuck the tailbone, and release all the way to lying on the back. Hug the knees in for a moment. Can rock a little bit side to side. And then take one hand on each knee and circle the knees wide open and back to closed. And circle the other way. Good. Hug your right knee into your chest and send your left leg long. And then place that right foot on the mat. With the right foot on the mat, send the left leg up to the ceiling. And we're going to take a single leg bridge. So we're lifting the hips up by driving into the right foot and lower down. Press down to lift up. And lower. If there's any pressure in your lower back, think of tucking your tailbone as you lift. And you fire up the glutes and hamstrings of that right leg. Press up and stay at the top. Hold. Try to reach your left foot a little higher. And release all the way down. Send your left leg long. Interlace the hands behind the right knee. And just for a moment, lengthen up through the hamstring and bend the knee. Kick the leg and bend. Just try to keep the belly and thigh close together the whole time. Next time the leg is reaching long, keep it reaching and maybe walk the hands a little higher. It's okay if the knee doesn't get all the way straight. You can circle the ankle a little bit, point and flex the foot. And then press down through the left leg and curl your head and shoulders off the mat. Imagine that the top of your head could touch your ankle. Good. Try to keep the leg there and reach the arms forward. Squeeze those hip flexors, pull the leg even closer if you can. And then bend the knee, float the left foot up, and switch, and switch. Keep breathing, keep the lower back pressing into the mat, nice and flat. Eventually, catch the left knee, relax the head and shoulders. Press the left foot into the mat and send the right leg high. We'll take our single leg bridges on this leg, press down to lift the hips and lower with control. Drive from the left foot to lift the hips and lower. Again, you can think about tucking the tailbone if there's any discomfort in your lower back. One more time, press down to stay and lift. Reach the right foot higher, higher, higher. And release the hips down. Send the right leg forward. Interlace the hands behind the left knee. As you're ready, start to lengthen up through the leg and bend it back in. Just take several of those. Just release the hamstring for a moment. And let's say next time the leg is reaching, keep it long. Maybe walk the hands a little higher if it's accessible. Circle the ankle, point and flex the foot. And then we'll curl head and shoulders up towards the leg. Press the right leg down into the mat. Squeeze the left leg in and see if you can release the hands. Even try to think of pulling the leg closer to you. For three, two, now you can bend the knee if you like or keep it straight. Right leg floats off the floor and switch. And switch. And switch. Give a little extra pull every time the leg comes close to you. Finish by pulling the right leg in and release. Give 
yourself a hug. You can rock a little side to side. And then plant both feet into the mat. Feet can be slightly wide here. Start by tucking your tailbone and peel your spine up off the mat one vertebra at a time. And roll down through the spine. Again, tuck the tailbone to lift and stay. So from your bridge, lift the heels. See if you can press your hips higher by lifting your heels and then keep the hips as high as they are as you lower the heels. Try that again, lift the heels, press the hips even higher. Try to keep them there as you lower the heels and then stay, drive through the feet, lift the hips up and roll all the way down. Grab both knees, lift your nose up towards your knees and start to rock front to back. Make it really small. Okay. So tailbone, shoulders, tailbone, shoulders. And maybe even with the tension in your core, you can keep the rock going without holding the knees. Maybe start to extend your shape a little bit. Legs longer, maybe arms overhead. One time, we'll swing the legs really big to come all the way up to your tabletop again. If you'd like, you can take a moment in a seal stretch. Just let your belly drop. You can wiggle your hips a little side to side. And eventually, find your way back to a neutral table. So from your tabletop, we're gonna take some hip circles. Try to keep your belly and your chest facing the floor. We're gonna circle the right knee. So it's sending it back to the side and around the front. Try to get as much movement as you can from the hip. Switch the direction of your circle. Again, keeping the belly and the chest facing the floor. Next time the leg comes around the side, extend it long. If you want a little extra work here, you can bring the left hand behind you. Now we're gonna lift a straight leg. Squeeze and lift, and lower slow. Squeeze and lift. Two more. Last one, hold at the top, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then release slow. Slide out into a half frog just for a moment. Take it easy here. You can rock your hips a little bit front to back. You can lower your elbows like Shauna. You can stay up on hands. Whatever feels most supported, you can even put blocks like under your belly if you like. This is just a break in between the work. And then go ahead and shimmy that foot back in. Stack yourself in your tabletop. If you want to wiggle your hips a little bit side to side to reset, maybe kind of sit over towards that right hip that was just working. But then eventually we come back to our table. This time it'll be the left knee circling. So send it back around and forward. Try not to let your ribs or your chest turn to the side. Get as much of the movement to happen inside the hip. Good, switch the direction of your circle. Build a little heat in those hip rotators and glutes. Next time the leg comes around the side, send it long. So again, two hands or right hand behind the back for a little bit more work. And we're gonna squeeze that leg and lift and lower. Squeeze and lift. Make sure you're breathing. One more time, lift and hold, hold, hold. And then gently slide out. Find your half frog. You can ease your way into the shape by hovering the hips a little bit front to back, maybe a little bit of an arch and curl through the spine. Just kind of convincing your body that it's okay to be here for a few moments. And then shimmy that foot back in. 
Come to your tabletop and then just have a seat again. Send your legs out in the front. And from here, we're going to actually lift up like a boat pose. We're going to press the forearms into the thighs. And then we're going to do the same rocking that we did to come up. So inhale back, exhale up, inhale back, exhale up. Try to balance at the top. Try not to disconnect your forearms from your thighs. Make it harder by keeping your heels closer to your butt. Stay at the top of the next one. Maybe extend your legs. Maybe touch your ankles in a teaser. And then roll down to your hollow body. Keep the feet and the shoulders off the mat. Arms overhead is a little bit harder. And release. <laughs> You can bring your hands directly under your hips with the palms facing down, thumbs near each other. And this is where if you have a block, we're going to use it. So we can bring it between the ankles the long ways, like this. You could also have it between your knees. I think that's a little bit easier. So try not to drop the block on yourself. And we'll start with the hands by your hips, thumbs close together, palms down. Start with your feet up to the ceiling. From here, we're going to bend the knees into the chest. Send the feet out in front. And then lift up. Bend the knees in. Reach forward. And lift. One more in this direction. Bend. Reach. Lift. And then we reverse. Lower straight legs. Bend them in. Reach up. Lower. Bend. Lift, last circle, and then stay reaching up with the feet. Press the palms together over your chest, and then try to lift your fingers past your toes, straight up to the ceiling. Lift, lift, and then we'll take it to the right, to the center, to the left, to the center and hold, and release, get rid of the block. If you'd like, you can rest in a butterfly shape with your legs, soles of the feet together. And then you can even lift your hips up here in this butterfly, send the knees wide. And lower all the way down to the mat. So send the legs out long, bring your arms overhead, and just roll onto your left side. So your left ear is resting on your left arm. Good. So we're going to do a, like a tree pose shape on our side. So right knee bends, then reach that leg up to the ceiling, and then send it long. We're just going to keep moving like that. A little bit of support in the front hand is fine. One more. Good. Reach the leg away. Bend the knees. And then we'll take it into clamshells. So lifting the top knee. Lowering slow. Lift. And lower. If you want a little bit more weight here, lift the knee and then let the feet separate. And lower. Try to keep the knee the highest point as you lift. One more. And then slide the elbow, the left elbow in underneath you. Try to have a flat body shape here. And we're going to lift into this little side plank. So lift the hips and lower and lift. And if you want to add, the top leg is also going to lift. Three more. Three. Two, drive through that bottom leg. One, good, extend the legs, and then prop up on your left hand for a little side stretch. Good, we're just gonna take the whole thing over to the other side. Lay on your right side, 
Rest your right ear on your right hand. Left hand in front can have a little bit of support here. So again, we start with the tree pose shape. Lengthen up through the leg and reach it away. Bend, reach, and lengthen. Big leg circle. Last one. And then the knees bend. Feet slightly behind you, I would say. We'll take the clamshells. Lift the knee and slowly lower. So again, if you want a little extra weight here, add the feet separating. So now we lift the weight of the leg. Try to keep the knee high without rolling towards your back. Last time to lift and release. And then we slide in onto the right elbow. So flat front body, drive down through that elbow to lift the hips and lower. Lift. And if you'd like to layer, you add the top leg lifting as well. Good. Push through the bottom leg to lift. We have three more. Try to not sink in the supporting shoulder. Last two. Last one. Good. Extend the legs. Press through the right hand to find a side body stretch. Beautiful. From here, just sweep the legs out in front of you. Come to seated. And then you can bring the soles of the feet together for a butterfly stretch. I like having hands behind. It actually helps kind of tip me forward. So on your inhale, arch your back, open up your chest, look up. And as you exhale, chin to chest, round. Inhale to lengthen and lift. Exhale to round. One more time, lift up and lengthen. And then hinge forward. Try to keep the length in your spine. You can push with the hands behind or pull on the feet or ankles. And from here, go ahead and slide the feet a few inches away from you. Slide the hands under the shins for a star pose. Let the back round. Take a few deep breaths into your lower back. Roll back up to seated. Take the left leg forward, cross the right leg over, and you can just hug the knee in. We're trying to find a stretch in the outer hip here. Think of pressing down through your right sit bone. You might add a little rotation through the chest. Try to find more of an outer hip stretch than a twist. And switch the legs. Right leg forward, left leg cross. Same thing. Press down through the left sit bone. Pull your chest in close. And then as you're ready, find center. Come all the way down to laying on your back. If you'd like to take a final twist, use your left hand to draw your right knee across. Make sure you do both sides. Take a few easy breaths. Just let gravity pull you into the twist. If there's another shape, like a happy baby that you'd like here, you can grab both feet, bring the soles of the feet to face the ceiling, and maybe rock a little bit side to side, or even take a plow pose if that feels good. Just set yourself up to come to a resting position over the next few breaths. Eventually, send your legs out long, Palms face up, set yourself up to do a little bit less, and take a much-deserved Shavasana. 
Great work, guys.